Hey guys, it's Sash, and many of you guys have been requesting to see some Dark Elixir farming attack strategies without heroes. So today I'm going to share one of the most efficient, cheapest, and uh, very quick to train army, and that is BAM with Barbarians, Archers, Wallbreakers, and Minions. Keep in mind I'm a Town Hall 11 here, but with this army composition you can use it at every Town Hall level. Town Hall 8, 9, 10, 11, it will work for everyone, and I've done it in every Town Hall level as well. So you're going to need to train 2 barracks full of barbarians, 2 barracks full of archers, 8 wall breakers, and just about 16 minions. As for spells, just cook, rage, and heal spells. Uh, for dark spell, all you need is a poison spell for safety. So now I'm going to show you guys some live attacks involving this attack strategy and show you guys just how easy it is to get that dark elixir storage. Also, keep in mind that my trophy league currently is Master 3, but I don't recommend farming here up here in Master 3 because it's going to be difficult to maintain your trophies uh, when you don't have heroes. So instead, you should farm in like silver or gold leagues, which will be much better to find easier bases as well and be able to storage raid more frequently with this composition. Okay, here we have this base offering 2400 Dark Elixir. Uh, let's see, this one, this drill is relatively exposed, so we're just going to attack this. It's about 20% full, so we're just going to use a few Barbarians, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a few Archers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, there we go, we'll get that drill, and let's see, where's the Clan Castle? That's the biggest threat, one of the biggest threats. Always want to check the Clan Castle first. There we go, it is uh, loaded with the, the Barbarians. So we're going to pull them all out, send out a few more Barbarians, lots of Barbarians and Archers in there. Uh, pull them out more. <laughs> yeah, it's fully loaded. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, we don't have a poison spell at the moment, so we're gonna have to manually uh, kill all of these barbarians and archers. So we're gonna pull them out in an open area right here, and right on top of them, we're gonna spawn a bunch of barbarians and archers, like 10 barbarians and 10 archers on top, and uh, that should take care of them. Yep. All 35 of them. Alright, there we go. And let's see, we have the Dark Elixir storage right there. Uh, encasing around, I'd say around about 1500 Dark Elixir. So definitely worth attacking. It's protected by a Multi-Inferno, but it looks like that Multi-Inferno is inactive. Doesn't matter, we'll still be able to get it regardless of whether it's active or not. And I'll show you. Basically, first, uh, remove two side structures with your Barbarians and Archers. And then, the mid structures, send out Barbarians and Archers. Send out one, two, three, four, plus two groups of wall breakers. So both groups open up both layers of walls. As you can see, they've opened up all the layers of walls. Use that rage spell and quickly your barbarians and archers will get that dark religious storage very quickly. Even if that multi-inferno was active, it doesn't matter. We had so many barbarians and archers spamming inside with that rage. It's gonna get it, they're gonna get that dark elixir storage very quickly. So yeah, that's basically the tactic here. Uh, you want to avoid centralized Dark Elixir storages since most bases have uh, Town Hall centralized nowadays. It's much easier now to get the Dark Elixir storages. Also, take into consideration that I did not use any of my minions, and that's because I didn't have to. Also, they cost Dark Elixir, so you want to use them as a last resort safety purpose. If your Barbarians and Archers fail to somehow get that Dark Elixir, you can use your minions last to grab them. Okay, here we have this Rush Town Hall 11 base. And looking at this base, a lot of people would think that I'm crazy uh, attacking this base with barbarians, archers, and minions, and no heroes to get that dark elixir storage. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is. There's a single target inferno protecting that dark elixir storage, a barbarian king, uh, the clan castle's right there. Let's first start by checking if there's anything inside that clan castle. And uh, let's see, we're going to send a barbarian right here. Let's see, um, spread a few barbarians to strike the defenses, pass that trigger radius of that clan castle with the ball breaker. Okay, that clan castle is empty, perfect. All right, and uh, right now I'm gonna attack from this direction. I'm gonna go towards, mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to use my, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get my archers inside that compartment where that wizard tower is to have them target that dark elixir storage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by spreading our barbarians, test for any giant bombs on the outside, nothing, and then more archers behind, and then we're gonna first open up that first layer right here, and then we're gonna spread some more barbarians on this side, open up that layer first, okay, there we go, and then we're gonna open up that second layer, 
two more wall breakers uh, send in more barbarians and archers and this is where we're gonna place a heal spell and the reason we're gonna place a heal spell is because of that wizard tower it does splash damage so the heal spell will nullify its damage and now we're gonna place a rage right here send out our two wall breakers unfortunately they're gonna go towards that direction but look at this that rage spell is gonna allow my troops to go after that dark elixir storage excellent very quickly took out that dark elixir storage and we got everything from that dark elixir storage awesome and again we didn't use any minions so successful again let's end it right there we got over 3,000 dark elixir barbarians archers minions against this town hall 11 okay nice lots of dark elixir here inside those drills on the outside and also inside that dark elixir storage so let's go for all of it uh, we're gonna send out one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And here, this one's being protected by the hut, so we're gonna spread some barbarians and archers around here. And uh, that should do it. And let's see, the other drill is right here, protected by that king and a wizard tower. So let's see, there is an empty space there. I'm worried that it might be a giant bomb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first pull out that king out away from that archer tower we're gonna pull them out to the side here and then we're gonna place some minions one two three to quickly take them out and keep distracting them with the barbarians right here to pull them out so the king doesn't go too close inside and allow the tesla or the archer tower to target our minions and uh, that should do it come on come on okay there we go and uh, now we're gonna need to create some space we're gonna need to remove these two structures with our barbarians Structures behind, same thing here. Remove these bar st structures right here. And for the mid structures, spread some barbarians just to check for initial uh, giant bombs on the outside. Nothing there. And then we're gonna send out one, two, three, four. And we're gonna place a heal spell. Looks like that empty space is not a giant bomb, so perfect. And now we're just gonna spam our barbarians, archers inside. A uh, heal spell, obviously, because of that wizard tower dealing splash damage. And that's all we're gonna need. Just one spell, and all our archers over the wall are gonna quickly grab that dark elixir storage. Perfect. And let's see, we got everything. The rest, the remaining dark elixir is inside that town hall. Unfortunately, we can't get that. That's centralized, protected by two infernos. Archer Queen, obviously, not gonna go for that. But we got a lot of dark elixir. Let's end it there. Oh, around 3,000, one off from 3,000 dark elixir. Awesome. Okay, for our last attack, let's attack this base. Uh, his dark elixir storage right here at the top left. Um, pretty decent Town Hall 11, okay, let's attack from here. We're gonna start off by spreading a few Barbarians and open up that first layer with some Wall Breakers. And uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if there's anything inside that Clan Castle. Again, spread some Barbarians, use one Wall Breaker, pass that radius, and there seems to be a wizard in there. Okay, so that tells me that there's possibly more wizards in there. Uh, okay, no problem, we can just use a poison spell on them. So we're gonna spread out some more barbarians here and more archers. And we're gonna send out one to separate those wall breakers and then place a rage right here. And there we go. And now we're gonna send out all our barbarians and then behind them send out our archers along that rage and they should be able to quite easily grab that dark elixir storage as you can see with that rage only took that dark elixir storage in just about like a millisecond right there with that rage spell very quick very easy awesome and again it didn't even have to use my minions so we can just end it right there with around i think 2000 yeah around 2000 dark elixir awesome so hope you guys enjoyed watching that, it was very fun and it is a very cheap way of getting fast Dark Elixir and I'm going to try to have more of these tutorials for farming Dark Elixir in the future as well. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys again soon, later. Everything changes.